We are here at IEM City 2019 where all the esports action is happening inside the Kudos Arena here. Let's go check it inside, check out all the booths and let's go check out the action inside the arena. We are here at the MSI booth at IEM 2019 and MSI have done a fantastic job once again with their booths at these events in Australia. As you can see here, they've got a uh, plethora of laptops and desktops here and their new gaming monitors as well. So we'll do, we'll start with a few of the laptops, go on to the gaming monitors and then we've got some of the Triton X series here, which we will be getting at the studio for review, um, hopefully next couple of weeks from MSI for there. So we'll start with the um, two laptops we have here, which is the GS75. There's a GS75 Stealth. It is carrying the new 8th gen i7 processor with a RTX 2080 Max-Q design. Absolutely fantastic. It does support a 17.3 inch full HD 1920 by 1080 full screen, 144 hertz with an IPS level panel. Has two NVMe drives with an SSD combo and also has up to 32 gig of DDR4 RAM. Absolutely fantastic machine. We've also got the GE75 Raider, which is carrying the new 9th gen i7 uh, processor with an RTX 2070 um, 8 gig RAM. It's a 17 inch screen as well, 144 Hz with the IPS level panel, which is optional. Um, it has one 2.5 inch drive, one NVMe M.2 PCI 3 and it has a SATA SSD combo and also does support 32 gig of RAM. Now these two are well, most likely going to be their top of the range laptops um, on the 17 inch series which obviously is carrying a lot of horsepower into these two laptops. We'll get more into, we'll get more in the bay roll into this later on as well. But um, let's have a look at a few other things that we've got MSI to offer. Okay, here we're at the um, MSI booth with the Oculux NXG 252R and we have Jeremy here from MSI who's going to explain to us what this new latest monitor is all about. So Jeremy? Yeah, certainly. Thanks Lee. So my name is Jeremy. I'm the marketing manager here at MSI and on display here at Intel Extreme Masters Sydney 2019 we have our outstanding MSI G-Sync monitor. This is our first G-Sync monitor that we're bringing to market. It's basically built from the ground up Lee for eSports. That's what this monitor is all about. It's a full HD 1920 by 1080 resolution monitor at 24.5 inches in size. So it's perfect for CSGO gamers and, and eSport professionals. This thing here is packing some of the most insane features set possible for a monitor, <laughs> right? So inside of the monitor, you'll find on the panel, 240 hertz refresh rate. So silky smooth gameplay, perfect for first person shooters, perfect for pretty much any you know high action yeah, gameplay, like Apex Legends, monitor. whatever is you know your fancy, this monitor is fantastic yeah. for it. The real big kicker for eSport fans though is the response time for this monitor. So 0 0.5 milliseconds gives you that edge in gameplay, there's absolutely, essentially no latency with this monitor with regards to its response time. So that's actually, I believe, the fastest in the world. So 0 0.5 milliseconds, the Oculux NXG 25-2R is packing it, so it's fantastic. In addition to that, like I said, it's also our first G-Sync monitor there, so it gives you that perfect, flawless experience with NVIDIA graphic cards. So whether you're running RTX or GTX series graphic card, this guy is built perfectly for it. So the majority of esports gamers are rocking GeForce cards. This monitor works hand in hand with those. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, this guy here, Lee, will be coming out later in the month here in Australia. So availability, we've been waiting for it for a while. It's on its way. So end of this month, Lee, you'll be finding this in, in all your favorite resellers. So PLE, for instance, and, and every other good player in Australia will have this in stock. So look forward to uh, it releasing soon. Yeah. And what sort of prices are we looking at? Yeah, yeah. So pricing at this stage isn't 100% confirmed. For the so we have two models. One is a one millisecond response time, and this one is the 0 0.5 millisecond response time. The one millisecond response time should be coming in around 599. Is sort of the expectation. And the 0 0.5 millisecond model will be coming in a pricier than that. So probably around the 899 dollar price point. Yeah. All right. That is the Oculus NXG 252R. Are you going to be buying one? So we are now with the MSI Trident X, which is probably one of my most favourite small ca uh, small cases here, with, with an absolute packing with raw power in here. So it's running the i7 9700K with an RTX 2080, which is a full. That's RTX a full cards. desktop graphic card in there. Yeah, yeah it is, exactly, yeah. exactly. So if you want to run through some of the specs we got here, yeah, um, and obviously um, I haven't personally tested this thing yet because I'm trying to get a review unit, which I'm hoping I should get one soon. Yeah. Um, so, we'll work cool, on that, I'm sure. Cool, cool <laughs> capacities on this. What's yes. how, 
that's probably the main thing people are going to be seeing. So what's yeah. the capacity on it? Yeah, yeah. So basically, the Trident X, it's 10 litres in size. Yeah. So it's about as small as you get for yeah. a full desktop grade hardware. So when I say desktop grade hardware, full RTX graphic card in here up to a 2080 Ti. So best of the best performance in terms yeah. of graphics. And then in terms of cooling for your CPU, it supports all the way up to a 9900K processor in there, yeah. Intel Core i9. So with this one, of course, Thermals is the name of the game, right? Engineer, we're sort of masters of it. Our desktop team does a fantastic job with this. So the layout of the chassis itself here with the Trident X is very custom in how it's laid out. So the GPU actually sits completely separately through a PCIe connector, yeah. and it has its own ventilation port on this side of the chassis. And then on the flip side of it, I'm sure you guys will show some B-roll of that, hopefully. We've, yeah. got the, we've got the Intel CPU on the other side with the motherboard sitting there. So basically they're drawing air nice and cool from two opposite directions and then exhausting it out through the top of the case yeah. and through the back of the chassis as well there. So that just ensures that everything's running nice and cool. The temperatures on this are basically exactly the same as what you'd see on like a full tower desktop for instance, just simply due to the intelligent layout of the design. Right. So in addition to that, upgradability is the name of the game with this guy. So whilst it is running, you know, some super high-end hardware, we do understand and respect the fact that, you know, if you're spending $3,500 AUD dollars on a desktop, down the line you probably want to upgrade it. So We've, it's ready for it. Yeah. You can pop in, you know, future graphic cards into this guy, no problems at all. You know, PSU on this is up to 650 watts. On the CPU side as well, if you do want to drop in a future Intel CPU and upgrade your system, it's ready to go as well for that too. Okay. In addition, you've also got great expandability for SSDs and hard drives in this. So you get up to two SSD, uh, 2.5 drive um, caddies for it yep. and then you can also throw in a 3.5 inch as well so a full big hard drive too. <laughs> in addition to that the motherboard has support for up to two M.2 SSDs yeah. so really you've got pretty much everything you need to go right out of the box ready to game. The Trident X has been available in Australia now since about November of last year and the starting price is 3499 AUD. Yeah. Really hefty, but yeah. you are buying custom. So, I can see here. I should also, I should also note as well. The Trident X is the high-end model. We also do have the Trident A. Yes. So the Trident X is always packing either like a 2070 or a 2080 graphics or above, in addition to an i9 processor. So we have the Trident A, and that brings it down to that more mainstream level, more affordable level. The Trident A actually starts a thousand dollars cheaper than that. So yeah. <laughs> so you still get you still get ninth gen um, processor in it, but it's either i5 or an i7, and then it steps it down to a GPU like the 2060, for instance. Yeah, so. So have you ever thought of doing a, um, an AMD variant? AMD variant, yeah, not at this stage. Not at this, not stage. At this stage. Maybe well, in future, that's yeah. something we could look at. That's yeah. definitely something to look at. Um, and also too, so it's it's only NVIDIA and Intel on this as well. Correct. So, correct? Yes, yes. so no water cooling, it's all air cooling? No, no, no liquid cooling in this one. Okay. Yeah. So all. All right. on some of our bigger desktops, we do have liquid cooling, yeah. but not on the, on the Trident X specifically. So is there something you might look in the future? or Potentially, potentially. Look, yeah. the, the main issue with liquid cooling is just it really restricts upgradability. Mm -hmm. So if the bracketing for it doesn't support future revisions, consumers are going to have a little bit of trouble, you know, being able to drop in a new graphic card, for instance. If we're yeah, liquid yeah. cooling it and we're not providing an easy solution for them, it's either wasted space in future mm -hmm. or it's difficult to upgrade and swap out. So yeah, it just yeah. is an extra bracket that we don't think is necessary, especially when the thermal designer layout mm. is built like it is in the Trident X. It's of not course, necessary. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and obviously going to uh, going to graphics cards, yeah. we can get full length graf graphics full cards. Full length graphics cards, yeah, yeah. So is it custom? To, is it custom to MSI like sort of graphics cards? So no, that you can fit into no, there, no, or no, no. so you can fit in like any Founders Edition graphic card. Yeah. You, obviously, you can't fit in like a massive triple slot. So you can't go throwing a lightning. Yeah, 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 yeah. It it's simply not going to fit. Okay. But obviously, we don't think many consumers are going to be wanting to do that in of a small form factor case. Yeah. And desktop. So yeah, just full length graphic cards. Are yeah. Really supportive so you got the Ventus in here at the moment, and you can't, but you can't put you can't put a Founders card in here as well. Of course, yeah, yeah, if that's what you so wish, by all means. Okay. Yeah, as long as you're not exceeding the 650 watt uh, mm. PSU limit, yeah. which most graphic cards these days don't, you're perfectly fine. No worries. So, yeah. Oh, well, guys, that is the MSI Trident X. What do you think of that? Let us know in the comments below. Is this one small form factor desktop for you? Let us know. So we are here again with the MSI MAG Vampiric 010 RGB tempered glass case. It is a mid tower, yeah, you're saying? It is, yes. Um, so we're having a bit of a discussion before. So some of the key features obviously here, it is supported for liquid cooling. Of course. Uh, of course. 240 mil right at the front. Can it support 240 at the up top as can, well? Yes. It can yes, at the top. Can. Um, so when you buy on the case, which is which you did say it was $99. $99. $99. Pretty yep. cheap case, I yep. should say, with RGB lighting as well. Yep. 
Um, what comes with the case when you buy it? Yeah. So out of the case, direct out of the box, you get the tempered glass side panel, yep. you get a full ARGB uh, fan at the rear, and again, you also get the RGB lighting at the front here with this. So the Vampiric case is sort of an entry level, great entry level case for eSport gamers. That's why it's here at the show at IEM, perfect place to, to have it on display. Yep. So you've got full support for full length GPUs in this one. So inside this guy here is a, is a mammoth RTX 2080 in it. So the Gaming X Trio is pretty, pretty much as big as it gets in terms of graphic card sizing. You've also got full support for ATX motherboards as well. Of course, we're running a Z390 in this here. That's the Edge AC motherboard. Um, this one here is built by M-Wave. Um, I should note with the Vampiric case, even though it's a it's a budget level case, it's great entry level um, for first time builders. You've got a lot of great easy to use features in terms of cable management. So you'll see Lee at the rear of the case here, probably gonna have to show it off later on B-roll, but there's a very handy cable management route at the front side of the chassis here, and that easily allows you to tuck, you know, your motherboard um, connectors, your USB connectors, hide them away there, great cable management there. Like you mentioned as well, boot for liquid cooling too. So 240 millimeter radio support down the front side, as well as on the top panel as well. You've also got removable dust filters on this as well, which is something you typically don't see on cases that are, you know, priced this competitively. Exactly, exactly. Uh, on the back side of the case, again, a lot of great work has been done in terms of cable management there. So just making it as easy as possible for first-time system builders to make sure that they are able to put together a great-looking rig in a you know nice, easy amount of time. So, yeah. We've also got a full power supply shroud as well. Obviously, a lot of cases these days have this one. And being one of our first new MSI cases, we're making sure that that's basically a standard, even from the entry level cases all the way through to high end with this. So the Vampiric, it's just released in Australia. Like you said, Lee, it's available right now for 99 Australian dollars from all good uh, Australian shops and retailers. So yeah, no worries. Um, quick question about the, um, the shroud. Is the shroud removable or is it so yeah, the shroud is removable. It yes. is removable. Yeah. Okay, cool. Correct. No worries at all. So you get easy access to your power supply and you yeah. can do all your cable management and then you can pop the shroud back in once you're done with that and continue on with, you know, installing your motherboard and other components. Yeah. No worries at all. So the MAG Vampiric 010. Yeah. Is this a case for you? I'm actually going to see about requesting a case. I actually really do like it. It's yeah. really it's nice mid-size tariff yeah. case. So, so I might try to do a build on that. Yeah, so one of the key additional features that we added into this case and something that we're doing moving forward as well is direct integration with MSI Mystic Light. Mm -hmm. So down the front panel here, you'll see gorgeous um, RGB lighting. Yeah. That's all fully synchronous with the motherboard, yes. with your fans. It looks gorgeous. And yeah. that's something we're going to continue doing moving forward as well. So we had a lot of great receptive feedback from customers with it. Um, it's a great starter case. Yeah. yeah so for ninety nine dollars, you get a case, tempered glass, yep. the single fan at the back. Single fan, single, single fan, fan at the back. At the back. Yeah, but it's ARGB. ARGB, so ready single, to go. Yeah, exactly, ready to go. Yep. No worries at all. For ninety nine dollars, I think it's a case for you. So a big thanks to MSI for allowing us to film their booth, and big thank you to Jeremy as well for explaining to us their latest, great, greatest technology they've got out here as well, and all their hardware. Um, if you'd like to check out the MSI, MSI booth online, check out our social medias and check out msi.com as well. Thank you MSI for IEM 2019. See you guys soon.